I hope I'm audible and visible. I'm Dr. Cheshta Agarwal, your NEET PT educator on the best online platform that is an academy. And today we will start our discussion of comprehensive course in dermatology. Please give me a quick thumbs up if my audio video is fine. Uh, I request all my students to kindly give me a quick thumbs up. Very nice. So before we start, let us uh, very quickly go through the regulars. Uh, in the month of June, we are starting with two courses. One is the NEET PG batch 2023 and another is the NEET PG TND batch. Both these batches, they are starting again, uh, which is uh, on 9th. So I request everyone uh, to please start uh, preparing. If you have not achieved a good rank and if you want to repeat again, please join this batch course. This is the prize list. I request all my dear students to kindly get yourself enrolled using a referral code J star A. Please give me a quick thumbs up if my audio video is fine and let's start with the first question of the today's session. The question said that we have a 38 year old woman who comes to the physician because of a one month history of painless non pruritic skin lesions which is present on her right thigh. She initially thought it was an insect bite but it was or it has slowly increased in size over the past week. Her, her temperature was 36.7, pulse was 75 per minute, blood pressure is 128 by 76. Physical examination shows a 0.8 cm hyperpigmented macule. When the skin lesion is squeezed, the surface retracts inwards. The photograph of the lesion is shown. Which of the following is the most important diagnosis? I request everybody to please answer uh, on the chat section so that we can discuss the theory of this question. I hope I am visible and audible to all of you. Everybody give me a quick thumbs up. Amazing. Very nice. Now here the image which is given here. Let me just zoom it for you. This image is actually showing you a sign which is very characteristically called as dimple sign. Now why it is called as dimple sign? You can just observe that when we are trying to pinch the skin, we can see that there is a slight depression which is seen. So on pinching the skin, there is a slight depression and this is known as dimple sign which is very very characteristic of dermatofibroma. It's a very very characteristic of dermatofibroma which is known as dimple sign. Is that clear? Now what happens in the patients of dermatofibroma? You have proliferation, benign proliferations of fibroblast. Because of benign proliferation, you will see that the epidermis get tethered to that mass. And when you try to pinch that area, because of teeth ring, there is puckering or there is a dimple which is formed. So please remember, this is very important. Dermatofibroma will have a very characteristic dimple sign. What is the sign that when the skin is pinched or squeezed, the surface retracts inwards? So very nice, uh, uh, Naveen. The correct answer of this question is option number C. Let's move to the next question. A 24-year-old man who comes to the physician for evaluation of a severely pruritic skin rash Skin examination shows symmetrical rash over the knees, elbow with a tense grouped vesicle, several excoriation mark, microapsis in the papillary dermis are seen on the light microscope. Immunofluorescence shows deposits of IgA at the tip of dermal papilla and the patient's skin finding are most likely associated with which of the following. So anybody can give me answer for this, white dermographism, uh, gladine dependent hypersensitivity, nail pitting or positive Nikolsky sign. What is the correct answer here? Anyone? Very nice all of you, uh, Ashima, Ruhi. The question says that patient presents with the lesions which are mainly on the extensors and these lesions have grouped vesicles and because of itching there is several excoriated marks. When we did the microscopy we could see that there are micro abscesses only over the dermal papillary tip and the immunofluorescence shows IgA on the same site. This is a very classical description of Dermatitis herpetiformis. It's a very classical description of dermatitis herpetiformis. And please remember, in dermatitis herpetiformis, around 90% of the patients will have either occult or clinical manifest gladine dependent hypersensitivity or celiac disease. So, correct answer of this question becomes option number two. I think it's easy, very easy. The next question 54 year old woman comes to the physician because of a painful rash. Uh, on a right leg for one month. It initially started as a small red spot but it increases rapidly during that period. She is also a known case of inflammatory bowel disease that is Crohn's. The examination reveals that there is a 4 centimeter ulcer 
on the anterior part of the right leg with central necrotic base and purple border which of the following is the correct answer ichthyma gangrenosum pyoderma gangrenosum venous ulcer or necrobiosis lipoidica which of the following is the correct answer for this question very nice ashwarya doremon navin ruhi uh, rafik ashima very nice all of you 54 year old woman who comes to the physician because of a painful skin rash on her right leg what is the correct answer the correct answer here is pyoderma gangrenosum which is a neutrophilic dermatosis what is neutrophilic dermatosis the neutrophils get accumulate inside the skin they causes a shallow ulcer now this ulcer is very rapidly developing or rapidly progressing and very very painful there is no role of antibiotics or septic conditions here you need to treat these patients either by steroids or by depson which is specific to neutrophil inflammation so the correct answer of this question is option number 2 please remember ruhi it has nothing to do with the uh, uh, with pseudomonas infection no nothing to do with pseudomonas pseudomonas infection is related to ichthyma gangrenosa this is pseudomonas induced infection okay but pyoderma gangrenosa is not at all related to that of pseudomonas can you all give me a quick thumbs up all my dear students everyone can i get a quick thumbs up very nice now moving to the next question that is on your screen we have a 16 year old boy who comes to the physician because of a painful lesion it has become progressively larger more painful making it difficult for him to walk he does not have any personal or family history of serious illness examination shows a 1 cm lesion on the sole of the foot the remainder of the examination is unremarkable and photo of this sole is given in this image what is the diagnosis i request all of you if you like the way i teach and if you like to do more of such questions please use my code chesta10 c h e s t a 10 and get your an academy subscription today please use this code and get your an academy subscription a 16 year old boy with painful lesions the image is shown here what is the diagnosis anyone ruhi ashwarya rr ashima doremon very nice this is a very classical image of what is called as plantar wart please look at this i always tell my students to observe this black dots what are these black dots these are nothing but necrotic blood vessels please remember this is nothing but the necrotic blood vessels so here because of accumulation of the virus in the blood vessels there is damage to the blood vessels and you will see these blood vessels which is engorged now this is something which is very important when you have to differentiate between a corn and a plantar wart okay so if you have to differentiate between them it's very very important so this is the answer the human papilloma virus or hpv and which is that virus which causes plantar wart it is it is hpv1 which causes plantar wart it is not coxsackie coxsackie virus causes hand foot and mouth disease so in addition to foot you will see the vesicles in the hand in the mouth even on the buttocks okay so this is a very classical case of plantar wart very classical case of plantar wart very classical case of plantar wart next question it's a little long question let's see how many of you can answer this very nice so i think this question is easy a 48 year old man who comes to the physician because of a hypopigmented skin lesions on his finger he first noticed it 4 week ago after cutting his finger with a knife while preparing the food he did not feel the cut 
so one thing which you have observed till here is that the patient has loss of sensation because the knife cut patient is not able to perceive the temperature is 37 degree centigrade which is 101.7 physical examination shows a small healing laceration on the dorsal aspect of the left index finger an overall well defined hypopigmented macule with a raised border is seen sensation to the pin prick and the light touch is decreased over this area which of the following is the most likely causal pathogen of this patient's condition very nice it's a very classical description of leprosy which occurs because of mycobacterium leprae now because lepra bacilli affects nerve very frequently there is loss of sensations there is loss of motor function and even the autonomic nervous system is affected so this is a very classical example of leprosy the next question is on your computer screen it is atti attached with the clinical image tell me what is the correct answer so a previously healthy 30 year old man comes to the physician because of a two week history of skin lesions on his elbow back he has no history of serious illness he takes no medications physical examination of the skin shows bilateral elbows back and scalp as the photograph shown which of the following is the most appropriate treatment for this patient's skin condition so what is the correct answer here very nice yes i have already taught you leprosy i think uh, you all have attended that class i have taken a very short and a brief session before your neat pg 2022 exam so for more detailed discussion of leprosy i would request or i would recommend all my dear students to kindly go ahead and use my code cheshta10 so please go ahead and use my code cheshta10 subscribe to on academy and watch the whole leprosy class in detail the answer to this question is option number 4 this is a very classical image of psoriasis psoriasis now what is this is it it is a well defined plaque with silvery white scales over it which is present on the flank although the common sites are elbow which is given here the back is also common site scalp palm and sole these are all the common sites now among the options provided the treatment of choice for this particular condition amongst the option provided is option number 4 which is a vitamin d analog please remember you give vitamin d analogs which is a topical drug you give vitamin d analog which is a topical drug in treating the patients of psoriasis you treat the psoriatic patients by giving this drug is that clear jay doremon prita rr navin chandan Rafik, please give me a quick thumbs up if this question is clear. Next, a very interesting question. 35-year-old woman who comes to the emergency department because of a one-day history of fever, malaise, sore throat, oral ulcers, and sensitivity to light. She had a urinary tract infection two weeks ago, which was treated by trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole. Physical examination shows congestion of the conjunctiva. you can see purulent discharge uh, which is coming out through the eyes you can even see that the erythema is present in the mucosa of the uh, genitals skin shows vesicles tender uh, lesions with a very classical erythematous macule with purpuric centers when the skin is stroked the superficial layers of the skin separates which of the following is the diagnosis very very classical question they have given you everything which is required to make a diagnosis everything has been mentioned in this question which is required for the diagnosis i guess this is a very classical example of toxic epidermal necrolysis and can anybody tell me what is this what is this line means anyone you are right the answer is toxic epidermal necrolysis which is a drug rash which presents with mucosal involvement and a target toid skin lesions this is a sign which is known as nikolsky sign please remember nikolsky sign is positive in three conditions first in pemphigus group mainly pemphigus vulgaris second it is positive in toxic epidermal necrolysis and third it is positive in staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome so in all these conditions you will see nikolsky sign positive okay it's not only in pemphigus you have other disorders also where the nikolsky sign becomes positive next question 
A 28 year old woman comes to the physician because of a two month history of multiple right infra memory lump. They are tender and have a so uh, have a foul smelling odor. She had previous episodes of painful swelling in the axilla 12 month ago that resolved with antibiotic therapy leaving some scars. Examination of the right infra memory fold shows multiple tender erythematous nodules. Fistulae with the purulent discharge and hirsutism is present. Her fasting glucose concentration is 136 mg per deciliter. Which of the following areas is most likely to be affected in this patient's condition? Anyone can tell me the diagnosis here. Anyone can tell me the diagnosis. It's a repeat question. We have discussed this so many times. Yes, you are right. The answer is option number 3. And the diagnosis here is Hydradenitis suppurativa. The diagnosis here is hydradenitis suppurativa. So, which of the following is the most likely affected part? The answer is option number three, which is groin. It is a disease of apocrine gland obstruction of apocrine gland involvement. So, the locations of apocrine gland will be affected like axilla, areola, groin, and even the buttocks. Clear? So with this we are done with the today's session. Now we have uh, uh, we have one more class at 3 p.m. on the Unacademy app. I would request all my students to please be live at 3:35 p.m. We have a live free special class. For more such questions, you just need to download the Unacademy Learning app. Just go to my profile. You can see this that there is a link which is attached on the chat section here. You can simply click on that link and you can attend my class. If they ask you for a code to unlock this free class, you can add this code. And please take an academy subscription because if you use this code, you will get amazing 10% to 20% discount. So thank you all of you. Good day. And let me just show you once again the offers which we provide. So whatever suits you according to your profile, go ahead and get the subscription. Please do not forget. Please do not forget to use this code which is changed up. Clear all of you?